yummies in the Iraqi bazaars. And when my mouth opened, the name of Jesus came flying out of my mouth. I just screamed, Jesus! And followed by that, everything, I just begin to confess all of these things. Jesus, I believe in you. I don't want to be uh, do the magic anymore. I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to destroy my life anymore. And, uh, and the peace that came over me. You can hear the prayer call right now going on in that tower behind me. So this is Kurdini. Kurdi Badini. Kurdish. This is Kurdish in our language because Kurdish there is two three dialects. Okay. So this is Kurdish Arabic. This is Kurdish. Kurdish Gospel of Luke. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Wow. That will be finished on New Testament. Hey guys, so we're at an undisclosed facility right now in Iraq, and I'm going to show you guys something really wild right here. So these are MP3 players with the entire Bible in different Iranian languages, like Persian, Iranian Kurdish, and they're being taken over the border through the mountains on horseback and given to people in Iran. So... We're going to partner together with this ministry and we need you guys to pray. Hey guys, right now I am standing where the Nineveh province begins in Iraq. Uh, we're just probably 15 minutes from Mosul right now, but this is the border of Ninawa in, uh, in Arabic. So this right here are literally the plains where Jonah came to tell the people of Nineveh to repent. And you can imagine, this is probably over a week's walk from any ocean, two weeks maybe. So you can imagine the journey that he had to be on. But here we are guys, Nineveh. So we're on a tour of a Muslim school right now. Wow! <laughs> okay guys, so wow, it's been an emotional day. Um, right now we're walking into a toy store because of your guys' donations. Uh, we're gonna be able to get at least four, four or five hundred dollars worth Man. of toys, games, and this, this stuff is going to go to the children in that are part of the school system that are coming from IDP camps and refugee camps specifically that have no parents or that were deformed uh, when they were in captivity with ISIS or um, or they're really poor. So we'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so we're in the toy store in Iraq and we are gonna bless the local kindergarten um, with the, for the kids that have no parents or that were held in captivity by ISIS or that are really poor. We've got about at least um, a half million Iraqi dinars to work with here and so we're gonna get 10 of these. Okay guys, so we filled up one cart over there and we're working on a second cart here. One of the kids in the school told us that he loves basketball. And so we're gonna get a ton of basketballs. Hey guys, so we're just getting all of the toys and everything that was purchased uh, packed into a vehicle here. And uh, then we're gonna head over to the school and present it all to the principal. What's going on guys, Robert Dosti here and I just wanted to do a quick video for our friends and partners. We're actually doing a little bit of filming at a refugee camp just at the border of Syria. The border of Syria is just over there beyond those trees and uh, these are some of my new friends. Yeah? Yeah! yeah. And uh, they've been listening. <laughs> We're just 
kind of preaching the gospel in the streets, doing some filming. I just want to thank you guys for all of your incredible support, your financial support, your prayer support. And I really want to ask you to keep the Kurdish people in your prayers right now. Um, the, the Turkish troops have moved into Syria and, you know, we're believing for supernatural solutions. So we're praying with as many people as we can. We're thanking the Holy Spirit for supernatural solutions, for peace, for joy, and that the kingdom of God would explode right here in Iraq, in Syria, uh, in Turkey, uh, and everywhere else, in Iran, which is just a couple hours that way, right? Okay, everybody ready on one, two, three? Yeah? One, two, three. Yeah! Right over there, right? One, two, three. Yeah! All right.